Our camera's on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Willie and more today on EA TV. And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Norwich City, and they take on Wrexham. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Oh, body in the way, crucially. And there's the delivery. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Delivering it. Well, he read the delivery superbly, but couldn't quite keep the header down. But as the caption shows, the visitors come into today's game leading the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, their attacking play on the road has been second to none. It's been inventive, it's been precise, and most importantly, it's been clinical. They really do play with such confidence when they break forward, which I'm sure we'll see again today. Nicely timed tackle. Ida. It's with Fasnacht. Oh, this is looking promising. Has someone to play it to. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Right, just hearing there's been a goal in the Blackburn Rovers game. Alex Scott. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, we had to interrupt Alex in full flow there. Apologies for that. For clarification, Blackburn did score in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. John. Martins. Now with Scott. Well, possibilities in the centre. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. That's a useful cross. Kone. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. So 2 0 now. Stacy. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. 
Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Norwich City facing Southampton. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. John. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Andreasen. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was Sheffield United that were awarded the penalty, but he's only gone and dragged it right past the post. It remains nil-nil with 29 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Andreasen moving it forward. He could pick out a teammate. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Take it away. Nunez. Stacey. Ismail Kone. And it's with John. Martins. And he's given it away. And Alex Scott is at the ready with an update because there's been a goal at the Stoke City Stadium, I'm hearing, Alex. It's a goal for Birmingham City. It was all in the build-up play for me. So many different players involved. And once the space opened up... He... Oh, no! What a chance this is! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, they fancy a short one. The corner kicks keep on coming. <laughs> they take it short. McLean. Well, using the space really well. But now can they push on? And the keeper more than equal to the task. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Plenty of support here. And a good-looking ball. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. And that is going to close the book on the first half here at Carrow Road. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Will he find the net? Real defensive resilience. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Stoke game. Alex Scott. Yep, 
It's a goal for Stoke City. They're back level. It's one all with 49 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Well, no stopping him. The referee is given a corner. Who can he pick out? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. A lot of live football to come right here on EA TV. And I very much hope you can join us for this game. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Jakob Sørensen. Stacey, not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Christian Fasnach, veering in field here. And striking the post. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. Playing it short. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Nathan Patterson. And he takes on the shot. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Here it is now, a substitution. <laughs> Playing it in. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. And a change to the scoreline in the Stoke game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. It's another for Birmingham City. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. They're back in this now with 70 minutes on the clock. Cheers, Alex. Nunez. Oh, could be. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. <laughs> and over it comes. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
looked as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Cuts it back. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Delivering it. Good clearance. Right, I believe someone has scored in the Coventry City game. Alex, what can you tell us? He's in with a chance. And danger still. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. For clarification, Coventry have scored in that match. They now lead by one goal to nil. Real chance. What a vital intervention. And showing the importance of width. Now the cut back. Oh, keeper dealt with it. <laughs> Corner kick played in. Well, just look at this. He couldn't have hit it any better, could he? This is the perfect example of a bicycle kick. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Nunez. Sepp van den Berg. Stacey. Van den Berg. Kenny McLean now. Oh, genuine chance. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And so the referee blows for full time, and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.